Hi, and welcome to the Frog Pond School of Design, where we have fun talking about a wide variety of things that all seem to have some connection with architecture. And today, I have a question for you. Who was your favorite TV or movie architect? Now, if you've been uh, connected to architecture for a while, you might say Howard Rourke in the Fountainhead, or maybe even Paul Newman in Towering Inferno. He was the architect who had designed this tall building that then burned. And he was a good guy. He wasn't the, the villain. Man, he spent the whole movie trying to, to make things right. Uh, one funny story from that movie. Uh, we're sitting there watching and at one point Paul Newman goes running into this electrical switchgear room and he pulls open a cabinet and he starts pulling wires and doing things, rewiring things, and I'm laughing out loud at this point. And my wife says, what's so funny? And I said, he doesn't have any idea what any of that stuff is. And she said, well, he should, he's the architect, and went right back to watching the movie. Um, but in those cases, the fact that the, the hero or whoever was an architect was really dramatic, uh, directly connected to the plot. But think about all those shows where some character just happened to be an architect and it had nothing to do with, with the plot of the show itself. Think of Mike Brady on The Brady Bunch or Sam Baldwin played by Sam Hanks in Sleepless in Seattle or, or You've Got Mail, one or the other, I forget. Uh, Peter Mitchell played by Tom Selleck in uh, Three Men and a Baby. Even remember Family Ties with the Keaton family? Well, Elise Keaton, the mom, was an architect in that show. And one of the real classics was Henry Fonda, who was juror number eight in uh, 12 Angry Men. So what was the fascination? Why is Hollywood and television people so enamored with having their characters be architects? Well, I've read quite a bit about it, and I'm not sure anybody really has the answer. I think it's kind of convenient. I think it's a little bit, you know, kind of intriguing. Um, it's a profession that not everybody really knows the ins and outs of. It's a little more interesting than having them be a, uh, an advertising account executive or something like that. So, you know, there are a lot of reasons. It's just kind of funny that, that it happened that way. And one of the more interesting ones is in Seinfeld. George Costanza was not an architect, but he always pretended to be when he was trying to impress a girl. I thought that was pretty funny. He at one point said, why didn't you tell her I was an architect? You know I always wanted to pretend to be an architect. So, you know, George was, was kind, of a, kind of a strange guy. So, you've had a chance to think of your favorites. Do you want to hear mine? My favorite TV architect was Wilbur Post. That's right, Wilbur. From Mr. Ed. And who better to be an architect on TV than some ditzy guy who spends his time out in his barn talking to the horse. <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us today on uh, the, from Frog Pond School of Design. I look forward to seeing you hanging around the pond again real soon.